a news has been going viral on multiple media channels, claiming that a piece of sun has broken away and formed a threatening vortex. The news also claims that the event was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's find out the truth behind this scary sounding news headline. The news went viral after a tweet by Dr. Tamathaskov was misrepresented. Let's first clarify the misinformation about the telescope used. The James Webb Space Telescope is not meant to observe the sun. It is designed to capture the faintest and far away light sources in the universe. Pointing it towards the sun will completely destroy its optics. It has an extensive shield to protect it from any sunlight or heat from the sun. Now, let's take a look at what actually happened. On February 2, 2023, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory captured an interesting phenomenon. Material was seen detaching from a solar prominence, also known as a filament. This in itself is a very normal occurrence. What was unusual was that this detached material got sucked into the sun's polar wind and circled the sun's north pole, like a vortex. It took eight hours for it to circumnavigate the sun at 60 degrees latitude. This places the speed of the observed polar wind at roughly 96 kilometers or 60 miles per second, which is extremely fast. What makes it even more interesting is that such polar winds have also been observed on gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Solar prominences, on the other hand, have been observed regularly. These are made of electrically charged plasma of hydrogen and helium. An erupting prominence occurs when such a structure becomes unstable and bursts outward, releasing the plasma. The prominence activity correlates with the solar cycle. This is an 11-year activity cycle of solar maximum and solar minimum, coinciding with the switching of sun's magnetic poles. This is when sun's magnetic poles completely reverse the position. The next pole reversal is predicted to be around 2025. Scientists are still trying to gather more information on what exactly happened on February 2nd. Capturing sun's polar wind is a rare event. But we do not know much, as we cannot capture images of the sun's poles. In 2025, the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter spacecraft is expected to make its first solar pass, at 11 degrees inclination. This might increase to 33 degrees, giving us a better view of the sun's poles, and a little more insight into our mysterious star.